we move into the first part of our meeting, which is prepared speeches. And tonight we have the honor of hearing from Anupriya, and she is giving her pathway speech in presentation mastery. It's the first one, writing a speech with purpose. And her speech title is The Right of Life. She would like to inspire people to cherish the different rights of life. Please welcome Anupriya with her speech, The Right of Life. Have you ever been on a roller coaster? How did it feel like? It feels like you're on the top of the world with wind rushing through your hair, blood pumping through your veins and scream escaping from the very depths of your soul. A scream of excitement, exhilaration, fear and pure heaven. That is how a roller coaster ride makes you feel. Today I'm going to share three of my favorite roller coaster rides and how that relates to life. It was a fine summer morning. I wore shorts and tank tops and arrived at the gates of St. Louis Six Flags. I purchased the fast track tickets that allows you to skip those long wait times for those rides. I was provided with a watch and I scrolled through the screen and then I saw Mr. Freeze reverse blast in two minutes and I booked it. I marched towards the ride and saw huge folks with people waiting to get to the ride. I was so thankful that I purchased the fast track tickets and I get straight to the ride. I hear someone say, this is the number one fastest and thrilling ride in this park. I was terrified. I could see images of the previous night video that I watched on derailment of the roller coasters. I asked to myself, do I really want to ride on it? I closed my eyes and imagine myself not riding it. It felt like I was on the ground while everyone else was up above in the air enjoying themselves. I didn't want to miss the fun, the sensation and the adrenaline rush and decide to ride on it. In life, we have to make many choices like this one. We can either choose to stay in our comfort zone and be where we are or choose the path that challenges us Face those fear of uncertainty, take those calculated risks. No matter the outcome, either way we grow through the process and become more resilient and more confident. Now it was my time to ride this roller coaster. I sat on it, made sure my seat belts were tightened enough. I heard the attendance here on a count of 1 to 10 we launch. I was expecting to hear 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. But then she says, 1, 2, and 10. Boom! The roller coaster had a backward launch. I was traveling in the backward direction at 70 miles per hour, passing through an inverted top head, and then going straight up, vertical, straight up above the ground, 218 foot above the ground. I could see the ground disappear from my eyes and freeze. At that height, the ride is not over yet. It is going to repeat itself in the opposite forward direction. Now I'm traveling in the forward direction, vertical straight down 218 foot as if I'm going to crash the ground and passing through this inverted top hat and back to the same starting point. That was a crazy roller coaster ride. I got down from it and walked a few steps, crossed two blocks. And I found this ride called American Thunder. It was a classic roller coaster ride, wooden roller coaster ride, which had a length of 2,700 foot and operates at a speed of 50 miles per hour. I sat on it, and the roller coaster ride started by slowly climbing up 80 foot above the ground, and and then it went 80 foot below the ground quickly and up above again and down again up and down up and down up and down i guess i would have crossed hill after hill after hill more than 16 or 18 hills on this ride life my friends is not linear 
life has its own ups and downs there are times when you feel like you're living the life of your dreams you're so happy you're blissful you're contented there are times you face challenges loved ones get sick people get older you lose your job you don't get the promotion that you want when life takes you down always remember you have to be strong and always remember you have another hill to climb on i got down from this ride and walked towards the corner of the park and then i saw this gigantic ride that was called the batman the ride it was an inverted roller coaster ride where the passengers chairs are hanging and your legs are exposed unlike a traditional roller coaster where your arms are exposed i sat on it and the ride started by slowly climbing 110 foot above the ground and it starts to take these 360 degree loops and along those loops it had its own twists and turns all the while you will be hanging in the air imagine your life going straight you are doing the same things every day you are eating the same food every day you are having the same season how does it feel like it feels like you're a robot with no access to change whatsoever now imagine your life with those unexpected twists and turns you are experiencing sweet and salt in the very own day you are experiencing sun and rain on the very same day how does it feel like life takes you on a roller coaster to keep you alive on your heart and mind so experience them appreciate whatever comes your way cherish them enjoy this roller coaster ride of life thank you she has spoke for 6 minutes and 30 minutes inside the ride thank you and grammarian's report great speech anpriya i could not catch a single um or ah or filler word a few phrases that i liked from your speech were life is not linear and experiencing sweet and salt strain and sun on the same day those were some nice phrases back to you man this must thank you priya to send comments to Apriya through the use of chat you can find her name there and send her some feedback or comments about her speech and Ladan would you time us or give us the time at one minute so tonight you heard from Anupriya with her speech and tonight we have Mary as her evaluator so please welcome Mary Thank you Madam Toastmaster. <clears throat> Anupriya, what a wonderful speech you gave this, this evening. I thoroughly enjoyed it. But I felt pleasantly bamboozled because you started talking about how life is like roller coaster and I expected you to talk about hardships and ups and downs of your life, but instead you talked about three roller coaster rides, <laughs> which I was not expecting at all. But you did a wonderful job. You were very very descriptive. You had a very um uh really interesting physical description using your hands and your arms and gestures. Your uh facial expression, um your smile, your uh change in your intonation that all brought your story really gave it lots of life and a lot of positive energy. Nice. thoroughly enjoyed it. Now, and it wasn't just a physical description of what happened during these roller roller uh coaster rides, but you also shared your emotional state and your reasoning for wanting to take the ride. When you're down there looking and you're full of fear, but you didn't want to miss out because everybody else is riding. And of course, uh the, the mother in me says, you know, these people are kind of low paid minimum wage paid guys who are manning <laughs> maintaining this roller coaster. I don't want you to ride the roller coaster. I'd be so scared. And that was what was going through the back of my head, but still, 
uh, I could feel the joy and the enjoyment that you had. So you really took us on an adventure with this speech, and I really appreciated that. And it wasn't a linear ride either. It was. It was. Um, you talked about the roller coasters, and then you went and gave us nuggets of wisdom. Um, life's wisdom and as Priya uh, very aptly described you had used very very nice phrases like sweet and salt uh, sun and rain and so that was really excellent now if there was uh, one area that you might uh, consider making improvements is uh, I might challenge you to see if you could actually squeeze in some uh, life story that involved uh, ups and downs and you did mention uh, losing a job or not getting a promotion or losing loved ones and um, I felt that you know you probably had a story or several stories to tell and of course the time is limited but the challenge would be how can you convey and include those stories uh, in a way that that doesn't lose the joy and the fun of the storytelling but you could somehow squeeze it in and uh, still convey some of the seriousness of the message that you were conveying. So that's my, um, my review. Thank you very much. Thank you. Really enjoyed it.